It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1558, recorded on Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. Marketed by Gizwiz. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have a way for you to get your robot on, and maybe you're gonna have a wet head at the end of this show. It's all coming up next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, a nerd pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! now. I hope you are prepared for the Gizwiz because here he is, the master of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It has been a uh, crazy week this week. We are recording yes, the show early because because you're going. Oh, <sighs> I'm going to LAX to DC. DC to LAX, LAX to Orlando, Orlando to SFO, SFO to Orlando, Orlando to another city, that other city back to LAX. Wow. That will happen in the next uh, two-ish weeks. I have one day, the 22nd, the next time that we record the Gizwiz, that is my one day home in the next two weeks. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, and that's Monday, right? That I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. And then you're coming back. Oh yes, Monday. I'm coming back Monday. Yes, yes, yes. And we're gonna record the gig yes. with Monday. You're one day in town. Yep. Yep. And then you do all those. I I saw you posted that on I guess Facebook and Twitter. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Twitter! I was gonna say this man's gonna have five million uh, frequent flyer miles. <laughs> I know. Oh my god! Holy cow! Yeah. Do you like flying? Uh, flying's okay. I'm fine with flying, you know. Uh, the thing is, I don't. I, I never really fly for the experience, so I'm always getting coach. I don't really have a, uh, a, you know, Southwest is normally who I fly with. I've been flying with American a lot recently. I think it's because their their flights are so inexpensive. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, good, very yeah, good. Yeah, nothing too awful. Nothing too awful. Now you last week went to an event. Oh, the water pick event. Yes. And, 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 when, and when I saw Apartment in the Sky. Yes, that, that, what was that's this? It was, it was what I thought it was. And, and uh, I know the person putting it on, Lois Whitman, and I said, Dennis is coming. And she said, great. So it's an office building. And on top of the office building is a five-story apartment. Five-story? Whoa. And this Every, isn't just for one person, is it? It's a married couple. Oh my gosh! It is oh my gosh. overwhelmingly opulent. Oh my gosh! Uh, the building elevator. I think you need a key, and mm -hmm. then the building elevator goes one floor into this house on top of a building, and that opens onto a grand piano living room. Oh my gosh! And then uh, I was walking around, and this gentleman came down and introduced himself. And I, I said, you know, I see people walking around. Is it okay to walk through your house? Yeah. He said, oh, absolutely, absolutely. And he introduced himself. And um, fortunately, Dennis said, Dick works for MAD. And fortunately, the guy almost freaked out because he's a big MAD fan. So uh, one floor on the balcony has a wave pool. You know the kind the yes, kind of pool you you can actually swim in. Uh, I know. And the top balcony overlooks the Empire State Building, or I guess the Empire State Building overlooks this building. It was really <laughs> amazing. Whoa! I know. I know. If you have to live, if if you want to live in something unique. Just get yourself a building, <laughs> get a house. Uh, get a house on top, on top of a building. Uh, on top of a building. How, yeah. any idea how much this would cost? I mean. I have no, no, I have no idea, but I, 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 I got a hint of how much it would cost because uh, I said, you know, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I'm retired now, but I'm bored and I'm going back into business. I said, may I ask what you did do? And he said, well. I bought the rights to 
Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> I I bought the right to Ninja Turtles. Oh my gosh! I bought the rights to I forgot the third thing, but it's way more up to date. And he had the licensing rights to three mega properties. Whoa! So, <laughs> exactly. Wow! I know. I tried to sell him the rights to the Gizwiz. Yeah, but, you know. Uh, yeah. It's going to be, I, said, I think know, that the collector's edition of the show is going to go. Uh, yeah, I, I said, you know, th this five-story house, I said, but you, you get the rights to the Gizwiz show. Yeah. You could you could have a plan. We'll trade, in fact. How about that? You know, <laughs> yeah. we'll trade you to the house. You can have the Gizwiz. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Wow. He's like, have yeah. you heard of a little thing called Beanie Babies? Uh, I've run that. No. Wow, man, yeah. that was very, so that was very fun. cool. It was fun. And so water pick, you, uh, you ever use a water pick? Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Instead of flossing, uh, okay. you use the pick to get in between Yeah, exactly. Uh, I use water picks, and, and what they're introducing, and it, it's not uh, embargoed, is it's going to be their first combination unit, which is a great idea. It's going to be a sonic toothbrush as part of the water pick uh, thing for your bathroom. Oh, wow. So instead of, instead of having two different devices, and it's coming out in uh, next month, and I'm going to get a product sample, so I'll do it as a gadget, like That's six great. weeks or something. Yeah. That's great. That's great. I also uh, got a gadget uh, recently. Yes. Uh, this is, and it, you've scared me before the show, you say that uh, DJI, the people who make drones, yes. uh, have a new announcement coming up soon. But I bought... And I think we talked about this on the Gizwiz, the robotic selfie camera. <laughs> Do you, you remember know, this? I, no. Okay, so it doesn't. It's not just for uh, taking selfies, but basically, DJI uh, is really known for their drones that fly yes. up in the air. And uh, with that drone technology, they uh, also make gimbals, which are, uh, which is what this is on top of this handle. And uh, that keeps the camera stabilized whenever it's in the air. So this is an automatic gimbal, a, a motorized gimbal. And uh, you saw it just turn off on there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and kind of move it around. Uh, but when it turns on, you can see that, the, that this uh, robotic uh, camera uh, is, is, you know, articulating. Uh, the cool thing is, is that what... what the main purpose of this is to get really smooth shots. So I can move my hand around and you can see that the camera is not moving really in any direction. Oh, uh, okay. It's like, what is that device they use in the movies? A steady cam. With Steady cam. So it's like a steady cam kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, it's exactly like a steady cam. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so you can use this to get really smooth shots. Uh, it also has a few built-in features uh, where you can get smooth shots. This is the smooth sh shot feature. So uh, is the camera part of it, Chad, or is that your camera? No, this camera is part of it. In fact, it's detachable uh, if you want to uh, put another camera on. Get this. The resolution of this camera is 4K. So this wow. is a 4K camera uh, that I'll be taking B-roll with. Um, it, you can use it either upwards or downwards. Uh, you can, uh, if say you're, you're, you have a, uh, a little device on the back to here, let me show that off. Uh, this is your little controls. So you can move the camera around with a little joystick. You can start recording. It has an SD card, uh, wow. built right in. Uh, if you ever get lost and it's off in some weird direction, there's a trigger on the front. You can double click this trigger and it will go back to center. You can also triple click and it will turn into a selfie camera so <laughs> that you can. Holy. And, and what's the gray bar sticking at? It looks like it's to so, hold a script or something. Yes, it is kind of. Uh, it's to hold your phone. There's no screen on this. Oh. And so if I come over to my phone, I'm going to join. This is, has created a Wi Fi hotspot. So I'm going to go ahead and join the Wi Fi. Wi-Fi hotspot. Then back over on my phone, let me go and show it off. Uh, you can launch the app. There we go. Let's go home. And you can see this is the device I'm using. Click connect. And now you get to see what you're actually recording. There you go. So I can wow. have it move. And now you can actually kind of get a sense of, let me, uh, let me do selfie mode. 
You well, you have big panel lights. Of just how smooth this is. It's a little bit hard to tell. It's a little bit hard to tell how just how smooth it is because it's so smooth that uh, you can't tell what I'm doing with my arm. Uh, so oh, maybe I, I see. Can, right, right. Maybe I can do something like this where you can see that I am moving it all around and the shot really isn't moving a whole bunch, um, wow. it, you know, where, wherever you move it. Uh, now, so what you would do is you would take your phone and attach it into the gimbal and then you would have a way to see what you're actually shooting. So it doesn't come with a screen, you supply your own screen. I have a very large phone. Um, and so now you can shoot this way and see actually what you're, you're going to shoot, uh, which is, I, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah. What about a mic now? Do you use the phone mic? So there is a, a microphone built in. It's right here on, on the front. It, it's not so great, but uh, there is this little uh, jack for your own microphone if you want to Oh, okay. It. External mic. That's yeah. great. Yeah. And I've, I've been really impressed with it so far. Uh, this can also, you can tilt that so you can kind of see a little bit about what I'm shooting. Uh, I've been really impressed so far with everything, uh, especially being able to use the joystick in order to move things around. Uh, you can go very slow. I've been kind of going fast to show off the capabilities of it. But a really slow pan, uh, you can tilt up and down. I mean, it's just, it's like the future uh, in my hand, it really feels wow. like that. Um, and also just using your phone, it just seems so novel uh, uh, of, a, of, a, of a way to uh, sort of see what, act, what the camera is actually seeing. Um, so, yeah, That has to got to be expensive, though, right? So it's, a, it's $600, uh, $650, I believe. So, yeah, it's, a, it's the price of a pretty good camera. Um, but... 4K. 4K, yeah. 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 Uh, and what's it called? Uh, this is the Osmo, the DJI Osmo, O-S-M-O. Uh, okay. And here, O-S-M-O. Uh, my plan is to take it to get really great uh, footage of products, so you can, like, zoom in, and it's, it, you know, it would just look absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, also, as as a selfie camera. I mean, this is going to be the best vlogging camera you've ever used. Yeah. Uh, to, to, you know, from events just to hold, hold out and uh, shoot yourself with. So here it is. Uh, it's a much smaller phone than the phone that I have. I have pro the, mm. I'm maxing out this uh, phone carrying. Well, what uh, phone thing. is that? This is the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6. You can okay. kind of get a good, probably a better example from their video. It's a little bit hard to show you in a, in a um, yeah. uh, studio setting here. F from the creators of DJI. And so you can see that in all of this, it's very, 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 very smooth uh, in this video. That's what they're trying to show off. Yeah. For the first time ever in a handheld camera, the Osmo brings with it professional. That's Ryan Connolly, who is a uh, podcaster. Shaky videos, a thing of the past. It literally. Okay, yeah, and Radio Rod says it's good because it, you don't use software this is made for image stabilization, right. which reduces the resolution. Yeah, it's right. pretty neat. Exactly. This needs exactly. Pretty so you can neat. see, that, you know, how bumpy uh, the footage is, or just how much this gimbal is moving. And then the, the smoothness of the final shot. Uh, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I'm actually impressed with the price uh, at being only $600. Uh, yeah, for 4K is pretty 4K good. 4K is, I'm, I'm, here, let me find out the exact amount here. Uh, and it's also cheaper, yeah, it's 649 It's cheaper, I got mine off of Amazon, and I believe that Amazon has a cheaper price. Uh, DJI Osmo, let me type that in. Um, and it comes in two days, so hey, look at that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, on Amazon for a lot less uh, for uh, $559. So <laughs> I oh, okay. purchased yeah, 90 it two bucks days less. ago, yeah. three days ago. Yeah, so it's uh, quite, a, quite a lot off. Um, wow. So yeah, that is my newest gadget, and I'll be taking that with this camera with me on my travels. 
Uh, so expect 4K footage. No, I'm not even. What's funny? I'm not even going to use the 4K. It's too much. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, not only that, but it that. will take forever to upload. Yeah. And... Yeah. It's also kind of fun when you turn it off. It kind of just. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's gone now. I just turn it off. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is my newest the, yeah, gadget toy. Yeah. Very nice. That uh, very nice. I'm very excited about. It also yeah. has a. You have to lock it in place whenever you're done using it. So it locks in just like that, and then it won't move around while, uh, while nice. it's in travel. So, yeah, that's my Excellent. newest gadget. Excellent. Perfect. I guess let's jump into the, to the real gadget. Okay, yeah, we're going to do for a few weeks, we're going to do gadgets from Toy Fair. I was there for a couple of days for hours at a time at the Javits Center. So it's Toy Fair 2016, a lot of new gadgets coming in, some of them not coming out until the fall, uh, gadgets for the Christmas season. Um, but the first one, one of them is out and the other is coming. So let's take a look at gadgets from Paul G. Toys. Hey, Dick DiMartolo, Maz Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. You know, we found some more wood models, and these are really amazing. We're going to talk to Jeff. It's Jeff, right? Correct. Uh, Jeff at Paul G. And Jeff, tell us a little about these guys. These are wooden pu uh, puzzles that you put together, no tools or glue necessary. They snap out of regular pieces of wood, you slide them together detailed instructions. Uh, they come with a battery box, controller box, two motors, motion controlled, light sensor, and a full robotic control as well. So you get the egg controller and he can walk. Oh, wow, that's uh, great. He roars. He's got two different roars. Give, give him a roar again, I'll put the mic here. Oh, wow, I didn't expect to have audio. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the, you can turn left and right. It's a little crowded on that table. Yeah, a little bit. He's kind of a bumping his friend walk. there. <laughs> and and are the, is this supposed to be like a dino okay. egg? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> And, and tell me the price point of these, because they're really beautiful. This size is a $39.95 retail, and the Woolly Mammoth size is a $19.95 retail. Boy, that is very... And, th and this, th this is retail price, right? That's retail price. Yeah. Uh, is there uh, any gluing or screwing or... No uh, tools, glue necessary. It's all snapped together, all slide together wood. Okay. And the line again is called? Uh, Paul G. Toys Robo Time. Robo Time. So I, I, you, this is how you slide the, the wood piece together, just like that. Okay. These are really great. Uh, there you have it, Paul G. You know, hold up that dinosaur that you had in your hand before. The big one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because in the video, we see this guy flying. And what is this guy? This is a I got, go under you. Okay. <laughs> this is a flying pterodactyl, 500-meter uh, range, 20-minute flight time. And what does he sell for? He is a two ninety nine retail. Oh, he's a big guy. Okay. Oh, he glows. Does he make noise? Yes, he does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Put anything with sound on it. The exact I'm same noise people make when I appear on television. <laughs> wow. Wow. Watch out, Dick! It's gonna get you. Yeah. Holy cow! How f do you know how fast he can fly? Uh, that's about 30% right there. Or get a picture of uh, Jeff's hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me again how fast you think he could fly? Uh, we don't really have a speed per se on him. Uh, it's, that was about a 30% power, so wow. he can go very quick. Okay, and, and his name again, he's also from Paul G, yeah, and his so name is? Flying Pterodactyl. Flying pterodactyl. Gyro controlled, so as you move, you, he stabilizes, so you, it's very difficult to crash. Wow. I think people are, <laughs> you see this flying over in the park, I think people are going to go run for cover. <laughs> Amazing. Dick Bartolo, Man's Madest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Really scary. That, not me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
I, I wanted him to let it go. I wanted him to you, let it go uh, flying. You know, it's very the... <laughs> funny. The thing is, it's it's a five foot wingspan. Huge. And and it was very funny because I saw it, and then I said, uh, uh, I'll come back uh, when I when. Uh, I, I have a camera, and w- when I went back, he was he had gone to lunch, and I said to the to the girl who was manning the booth, I said, you know, can you hold it and run? She said, she said, I'm so terrified that if I turn that thing up, that I won't be able to hold it. I mean, <laughs> it really feels like it has a very powerful motor, and as you can see in the video, it goes high and far. Yeah. Uh, it reminds and, me of something the military should do to disguise spy. Like, oh, that's, oh, that's a just great, a bird. That's a, yeah. You know? yeah. No, no, it's, it's flapping, just obviously. A, it's just a prehistoric bird. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's uh, just a pterodactyl. It's we just can a ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they come around every million years, and it must be their time to come around this, this year. Uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. And, and the price, it's very weird what, what happens with pricing now. There's evidently like... A a price they tell you, but then they say, but you'll really pay this. Uh, there was a drone that I said, and what is this? And she said, it's $129. I said, oh, okay. She said, but when you see it for sale, it'll be $99. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So the website says $399, but he says, you'll see it for $299. That's the price for suckers. The yeah. three ninety nine price. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, it's just like the the, the Osmo just showed off. It was six hundred yes. and something. Go to Amazon; it's ninety dollars cheaper. Less, I know. So. I know. I I don't know why they just don't say what the price is. I know once uh, someone I I think it might have been at Panasonic. I said, "Why do you have all these different prices?" And I said, "Because we have to we have to tell people the price the price that we say is the price." that the retailer who charges the most uses. Right. So if we say something less, then that retailer gets very angry. So we say the top price, uh, but people yeah, in the know, know shop around. There's MSRP and then suggested retail and then the wholesale price, but then there's the and wholesale s- price if you buy in bulk and then... No. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and then there's street price. Right. Yeah, exactly. And, and then, then there's as the you black said, then there's price. sucker price, insider price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then you and get the Indiegogo Gizmo's price, price, which is and actually more than the MSRP. Exactly. Yeah, we just tack on twenty percent for right overhead. Overhead. Right. right. And the T Rex, uh, the dinosaur uh, Robo Time T Rex. Hey, that didn't look too bad. Thirty five dollars, uh, and you get. I and was that's surprised. the bit. Yeah, that's the big guy. He's uh, 14, like 14 and a half inches and about uh, 11 inches by 2 inches. And it, it just came out because there's just eight reviews on Amazon, but 4.4 4 out of 5 stars. Yeah. So that's not bad. Yeah. And uh, he walks and he makes those noises. And he even has a little dance, uh, kind of a, a wonky dance mode in that. The remote control looks like half a dinosaur egg. Yeah, I was looking at that. And it seemed yeah, really yeah. responsive is it, from what yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's very clever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I guess let's jump into the next gadget. Uh, the next one is a uh, computer for kids. So let's take a look at that. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv. We have something really fun. You know, we were building models over there, dinosaurs and things, but now kids can build their own computer. And we're talking about kids, uh, what age? So it's seven plus. Our core audience is like seven to 12 year old kids. Uh, and, you know, they get to build and code their own computer for the first time. And it opens up a whole new world of creation to them where they can build a computer and use code in a really playful way to make art, make sounds, and then share it with their friends all over the world. Are we talking about soldering irons and clippers? Or what is, what, how hard is the kit? You know, it's, we, we thought... Oh, we, wait a minute, is this the kit? Yes. So we got a challenge from a six-year-old three years ago, and he said, I'd like to build my own computer, but it needs to be simple and fun as Lego. And we thought, who is this crazy kid? But, you know, we took on the challenge, and then we designed this sort of very simple step-by-step book that takes anyone, starting with six-year-olds, into designing and making their own computer. So with the book, they actually put the computer together until it becomes like this. 
and then they plug it into any HDMI monitor, a TV, or a beautifully designed uh, build-your-own display, and that onboards them into a, a whole environment of software, content, and creations with code. Wow, and that kit, by the way, was Bill Gates. Very strange, isn't it? Um, so how much does this kit cost? So if you'll go online today, we sell the product, the computer kit for $149. And if you and it's a, it's a, kids can create apps and create games and... They can create sound and artwork and games and they can play even Minecraft with code. So instead of building a tower in Minecraft in an hour, they can build a tower in five minutes because they do it with code. And it teaches them about computational thinking. Um, so it's $149 for the computer kit or $269 for the computer kit plus our display, and then they have their whole kind of one system that they can carry with them anywhere they go. Wow, so this is the display, yeah. and uh, does the module fit into, into the display? Exactly, so you can nest it at the back, like right here, uh, and then you put the computer here, you can, put, you can nest the keyboard also inside, and then you can carry it with you to your bedroom, to your, you know, to, to your grandmother's house, and you can continue the creation wherever you are. This is really... Uh, unique. <clears throat> and the power, is it AC or is it battery? So yeah, I mean you plug it into into the power supply. Okay. Um, it's, it's AC powered. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> You're not coming out with a battery pack or maybe one day? That's a great That's idea. A great we'll idea. definitely think about it. It's my idea. Ladies and gentlemen, write that down on a notepad with you so I can sue them later on. You're right. Uh, Mail no, it to I yourself. think this is really, actually, actually <laughs> the keyboard is great. So this is your mouse pad. Yes. Yeah, I, I... You see the entire keyboard is also very playful. It's designed for the kids specifically. And when we were designing the product, you know, we didn't just make a keyboard that you can find anywhere else. We wanted to design a keyboard that specifically suits the kids that we serve. And, you know, this is one of the best reactions that we get, that people want to buy just the keyboard sometimes. And we said, you know, you have to buy the complete experience because we want to give them the complete experience. Okay. Now, I'm going to super your website at the bottom of the page. So it's available now. Was it 150 for this kit? 150 for the computer kit. For the computer kit. And okay. then 270 for everything, the computer kit and the display that you get to build on your if own. If you have an HDMI monitor, you can just build the computer, and use whatever monitor you have. I think it's really outstanding. Dick DiBartola, Man's Mad us Writer, and the GizWiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Finally, a computer that I can build. <laughs> I'd need help, but I could build it. Bye. That's quite amazing that... Uh... Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's fun. Uh, someone in the chat room saying uh, the operating system, the, uh, they said they built it on, on Linux. Linux, Linux, um, yeah, and uh, and, no, and you know, the more I look at it, I see it, it, you don't have to worry. It, it seems like you could probably put this together in uh, a minute or two, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah you're it, not it soldering. Is, uh, no, no, exactly. Together. Oh, and as a matter of fact, you can just build it in uh, five seconds. Like there you go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. But I think the the fun is in uh, programming it and and uh, you know a six year old if a six year old can run around and say I built a computer, right? You know why not? Exactly. Why not? Exactly. And then they also have a, a, a like a club so that everybody else who's built theirs, uh, you can share stories and share programs and stuff over the internet. So I, I think it's a clever idea. Yeah, me too. I agree. Yeah, it, it would be neat to see it st taken a step further, and you have to install the processor, so you know it's a processor. You have to install the, the storage, you know, so you know it's your hard disk. Install RAM, install graphics. I mean, that would be kind of cool to actually have pieces that you felt like you were connecting together. And then you could see what happens, like, pull the processor out, the whole thing doesn't work. <laughs> Upgrade, okay, well that, you know? Yeah, that, yes. Well, probably that would be the next model. Yeah, that'd be neat. Install the OS. Write your own and I, and I thought basis. the price was pretty decent, $150. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, uh, a, yeah. Um, it's basically, to me, the price of a Raspberry Pi plus a pretty okay keyboard and then some, uh, a key, or, or a keyboard designed for children and then, uh, you know, everything else, all the accessories. So, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, so that is it, Kenno.me, and our final guy, you remember the big hit, a actually, they, this year they announced the winners of toys from last year, because they had a whole year to think about it, 
And the game of the year, board game of the year, non-electric game of the year, was Pie Face. No way! I know. Pie Yay! Face. Our favorite it, board game. Uh, <laughs> right. However, I found something that will be just as much fun as Pie Face, and here it is. Okay, and I think we're going to see the commercial, right? So. Uh, yes, uh, we'll, we'll see my video. Oh, we can see the commercial first. Yeah. Your turn, or maybe not. Hey, Dickie Bartolo and Mans made us try to end the Gizwiz. One takes here, they here at gizwiz.tv. Remember we did Pie Face, where you play a game and you get hit with a pie? Well, this is uh, kind of a way to wash your head after you do it. And this is called, what is this called? Wet Head. Wet Head. <laughs> Okay, and what am I going to do? You're going to go ahead and spin that spinner there. Uh, and what? Try uh, your chances. If you pull one of these pegs out, it could release the water on your head. Okay. Uh, so, pull one pin. Pull one pin. Let me reach Any up here. Pin. Any pin. Okay. And what's great about this is I not only get wet, I get electrocuted because I have a mic. <laughs> well, so good. how cool is that? Okay, pins. ready? Just straight out. Yep, oh, hold my pin. hat. Oh, you're safe. I'm safe. I'll do one more. All right, you're one, fate. one more, and pull, pull pin. one pin. And if I don't get wet, or is there a prize? Sure. <laughs> I like. She said, "Did you notice that?" She said, "Sure." Like <laughs> you're gonna get I'll wet. I'll find you some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust this lady. It's toy fair, but I don't trust her. <laughs> okay, one more pin and. Oh, okay. I'm not going to... You're I'm, totally safe. I'm totally three. safe. <laughs> oh. Uh, the cameraman... <laughs> you can go ahead and... Three. Oh, oh my gosh. She's, she's, yeah. she's, she's oh, brutal. Yeah, it's good. She's winding my head up. Okay, right. one more. Uh, pin and spin again. Oh, pull and spin and spin <laughs> again. This is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa, the odds are getting lower. Wow. Do I... Do I have to spin again? You gotta spin again. <laughs> You're going for the content. I know. Oh, one pin. One pin. And All this right. is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. If there's no water, I get to go home dry. Ah, uh, ta-da. It was, it was 10 you know degrees outside. What we're going to do now oh. is we're going to show you that there was water in it. So I'm not wearing it now. So I'll, <laughs> I'll just pull a pin arbitrarily. I'll just pick that. Uh, no, okay. And pretending that Dennis is pulling a pin. No, get ready to uh, end. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there, so that would have been all over me. And oh, I should have done it. It's vodka. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, so there it is, wet head. And that's what the packaging looks like. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Medis Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Well, that looks so fun. I, it, it, <laughs> all these it, roulette it, it games. Is. Yes. And um, I think, to tell you the truth, that booth was hog wild. And on Amazon, it shows a different company. So my guess is, I think hog wild, like, is a game consolidator. They find hot games and then distribute them. Uh, but it's... Like fourteen ninety. Well, what is it selling for now? Yeah, it's under fifteen bucks. Yeah, fifteen bucks. It's under right. And and the idea, it's kind of interesting, is that if you're playing it indoors, you can just put in like a third of a glass of water. Right, a much smaller. But amount. if it's eighty degrees out and you're out in the summer and people wearing shorts, then you could fill it to the top. And uh, but it is a fun game. And, and, of course, you have to, now that I see the video, you have to make sure that you put it on tight so when you pull those pins out, you don't tend to have the hats slide off your head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. it got pretty good reviews, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks, okay. it looks great. Yeah, that would be f so fun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it.
That's uh, another great game. You're gr- you're good at finding those games. Uh, uh, they yeah. I, I just like that silly stuff. Yep. 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 Well, with that, I yes, think it is ladies time. and gentlemen, it's time for. You know you don't. Oh, there we go. You know you don't need it, but oh, you uh, might uh, want uh, it. Uh, it's crappy corner. Get it? Okay. Yes, and as you know, Chad Paul, the Patreons, the lifeblood of this show, and they picked Office Gadgets. Office Gadgets are yes. the uh, current theme. So. I was thinking if you're at the office and you have a beverage, uh, there's a lot of office technology on how to keep that beverage warm. Uh, We already showed something that would keep your beverage cold. That one didn't work out so hot. Uh, So this is... And we had the one that would keep it warm, but it was, uh, was I think, $139 or something. (laughs) Right. Right. I remember that one. Uh, And also, hey... you know. That's oh, is that open it that you're opening yep, it with? I'm using the open it to uh, to open uh, the beverage warmer. So hey, okay. look at little little old gadget uh, placement yeah. in there. Uh, you know the, our cool our beverage cooler also kept our beverage warm. So you know maybe <laughs> that's right. maybe we should that's just use right. that. I forgot about that. Uh, so yeah. this is the beverage warmer. It plugs into the wall. Oh, gosh. Need to get off this piece of paper. I need another one of those, so you'll have to tell me if. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, that is the dumbest. They glued it on here. Here we go. I can't. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Once it heats up, it'll just stick to the uh, yeah, bottom. Yeah, it'll of just the cup. come right off. I'm sure. Uh, that's great. Okay, so uh, normal old wall plug. Let's go ahead That's and plug good, this baby because, in. Uh, uh, there are USB ones, but the one I had did not. I have really heard that heat. the USB ones are pretty, pretty crummy. They're kind of weak. Yeah. Uh, now, I don't know uh, exactly how uh, exciting this one will be uh, to watch warm up, but hey, we'll even see. We'll see if it turns on. Plugging her in now. There we go. We have our. This is the gadget cord. This cord is specifically to turn on gadgets. Wow. Uh, so right off the top, uh, plugged it in. There's a nice red button. Uh, there's an on-off switch that uh, turns the button on or off. I just realized that the buttons are faced towards the direction of the cord. You would think that they, they're upside down in this, in this position. Oh, that's funny. You would think you'd have the cord go behind your desk. Yes, you uh, would, but... You would be wrong. I get, yeah, I guess you'd be wrong. <laughs> so uh, we have it currently on high, on high setting. So uh, as we're doing that, you know what? We can look at the packaging, made in China. That's about it. Uh, beverage warmer. You know, they didn't try to go too, uh, too crazy here with the... Uh, with uh, letting you know about, you know, we don't right. have, sometimes... I, 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 bet the, I bet the first 17 things on that list... Or safety warning. Uh, yeah, warning, warning. Real, read all instructions. Household use only. This is the first time I've ever seen this. It looks like they uh, they changed their instructions uh, halfway through. There's a sticker. Uh, this is a sticker <laughs> on the instructions covering up old instructions. Oh, how funny! I've never seen that before. Uh, so, huh? Uh, select low position, push the high button to force... Huh, wonder what was so uh, scary about that. Yep, just normal instructions. So, uh, you wouldn't pay uh, much for uh, one of these warmers, by the way. Um, okay. Let me go find out how much... It, by the way, I can tell it's, it's, it's warming up already. Wow. Look at that, look at that. Now, one of the problems with uh, these, this warmer is that you... You'd set a mug on top of it, and you have to get a pretty warm, I think, to go through the bottom of your mug. Yeah, especially some of them are kind of, what is it, concave on the bottom where... Yeah, you have a little bit of air there. There's like there. A, a rim, and then the bottom of the mug doesn't, isn't flat. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in the chat room, <clears throat> Captain J, says you uh, avoided rule number four, which is do not remove sticker. So already your warranty is over. Oh gosh, does it? 
Yeah, well, uh, uh, instructions note. Yeah, hmm, oops, we, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, it's been on high for a while now. It's sort of, it's warm-ish. Okay. You know? Not well, very. You know what, do you, do you know how many watts it is? Because that's usually a good hint. Like, if it's four watts, your coffee will be warm by tomorrow at noon. It says nine watts. Nine watts. Okay, so it's going to be sort of like putting your coffee on a nine watt old fashioned. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> is that it's basically like a nine watt incandescent bulb? Yeah, uh, it's kind of like putting your coffee on a nightlight. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I would assume here. Um, the uh, desktop top uh, desktop tabletop coffee tea beverage warmer. Uh, what a mouthful to say. It's not even available at the moment. Interesting. Uh, doesn't have the best reviews. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, in oh fact, wow, goodness. I think that's the first time I've seen uh, reviews quite uh, in that order. Wow. They, they would only be good reviews if you turned them upside down. Yeah, exactly. Because the longest bar is, yeah. was that 50% gave 50% it one star? 50% gave it one star. Weak. This unit is quite underpowered for my taste. At best, it keeps your coffee cup above ambient temperature <laughs> my advice would be to find a higher wattage unit doesn't warm up i bought this because i liked the high low temperature feature unfortunately the high level does not even come close to keep keeping my coffee warm and the low setting is equally useless it's unfortunate uh, but uh, the warmer is now stuck in a drawer right oh there's yeah. a good one chad Maybe okay as a candle warmer. <laughs> terrible but as it a coffee is terrible warmer. as a coffee warmer. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, so how much oh oh so do you know what you paid? So there's no price because it's not available. I know right? what I, I I'm pretty positive I know exactly what I paid, which was da, 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 um seventeen dollars. I spent seventeen dollars and fifty cents for the coffee warmer. Um Whoa. Uh, it's warm. Okay. I, I gotta say, to the touch, you know, putting your finger directly on it. Okay. It's warm. I'd say it's about the 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 heat, the hotness of tea that's been sitting out for a while, uh, like the edge of a cu coffee cup. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's gonna transfer into the cup, though. I, I uh, yeah. you know, we might well, need you know to do some further testing with with actual. Uh, thermometers to see exactly how warm this would make a drink. Um, hmm. Webster says, maybe you should just not buy the device and drink your coffee faster. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe it work great as a cat warmer. You know, you put this under yeah, a blanket, it. I think the cat would really, really love it. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's in these instructions, though. Do not place other... Linens Do on not, top. Not for animal warming. Yeah, not for outdoor use, it does say. So, uh, oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got to say, it's, uh, it's warm. You know, that, and that's all it claims to do. It is just a beverage warmer. It doesn't say a beverage keep hotter. No, you're right. You okay. know? All okay. it does we is warm your beverage. We can't sue them on that. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, so I guess it does do what it says it should do, the beverage warmer. Um... I just don't think that it's uh, quite up to snuff. Uh, no. So. And also you don't have to worry about it because they're not even selling it anymore. I know, apparently. I didn't realize that they went out. Uh, you can buy it from the marketplace. So you can buy it from uh, either uh, new from you know, $10, actually, less than I, I spent. Uh, but no prime shipping at the moment. Or you could get it used for $12. <laughs> Like new from Sporty Head, uh, you know. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure by tomorrow there's going to be two like new units for sale. <laughs> Yours and that one. Uh, a little bit of sticker residue still on the top uh, warming plate uh, will be the note on one of them. Oh, hang on, Eric Duckman has a 17 watt unit. What? For 10 bucks. Oh, my gosh. Amazon, Mr. Coffee. Well, Mr. Coffee is a brand name you can trust. Oh, you know what? 
I have that one. That one is not bad. I have several of these. That one I have out in, in the greenhouse, which I use in the summer. And that one does work pretty good. Well, that's good. Yeah, $10. That, oh, my gosh. That's, that's the one to get. And four stars. Yeah, look at that. 3,000 customer reviews. 3,000. That's Look, that's the exact opposite of uh, the yep. one I bought. Yeah, hmm. this is the, the, the other chart upside down. It is. Exactly, yeah. It really is. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I did get the good gave it five stars. That's actually more. It's <laughs> <laughs> better. Then gave the other one the one star. Um, wow. That's okay. That's the one you want to go for. That's the one. The Mr. So, Coffee mug warmer. Okay. The Mr. Coffee mug warmer, not the beverage warmer uh, <laughs> for indoor use only, for household use only. Marketed by Walmart Stores Incorporated. What? They, they have who it's marketed by on the bottom of the package. I've never seen that before, marketed oh, by Walmart. By Walmart stores. Isn't that a... I've never seen the marketing company have on I. the package. Neither have I. Well, there you go. Marketed by Walmart. Uh, <laughs> manufactured for Walmart resale. Uh, that is the beverage warmer, uh, and you can too cannot get it on Amazon uh, at the moment. So I'm uh, not exactly sure. What but you can do, get what? Mr. Coffee. You can oh, get Mr. Amazon. Coffee instead. I would I would suggest that definitely. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Foghorn. Oh, you know what? Just uh, cut, cut to the my shot again, because I want to, uh, I'm going to reach out. And so the, the coffee warmer was not good. No. But thanks to you, I think I can reach this. Uh, I hope there's enough cable. Oh, there is. Okay. This is something that you suggested. Yeah, look at that. And it works great to light up my mad sign. I've seen it back there the whole show. Yeah. And so don't get the coffee mug, but if you want a disco bulb, we found these on Amazon for like five bucks, right? I'm yeah, put this very out. inexpensive. I'll this is the gadget that will not die. I mean, we <laughs> love this gadget. We love this gadget. And now I found a whole new use for it, lighting my mad sign in it the background. It looks great. Doesn't it look great? It's like there's some sort of thing around the mad sign that kills yes. all life. Yes, yes. Oh, and, and those uh, red LEDs are those things I did a few weeks ago where you get Oh, yeah. 20, 20 feet of LED lights for uh, $16. And you can change the color. You can change the colors. You can make them chase. You can uh, do uh, – yeah, it's amazing. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to show you that we sometimes find dogs on Amazon, and then sometimes we find really good stuff. Uh, okay, uh, we have a viewer warehouse video. Hi, Dick and Chad. This is an item from my gadget warehouse. I cannot bring myself to throw it out because it costs so much when we purchased it. <laughs> the portable Panasonic 4, uh, 4X CD drive, it was about, it was well over $500. And this is Ryan Winkler's video. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is a item from my gadget warehouse. It's the first CD-ROM drive that I used with a laptop computer. Now, as you can see, it's a 4x, Ooh, so or fast. four times speed. <laughs> yes, exactly. CD-ROM drive. I still have the original driver disc for it. It has a <laughs> DOS driver and Windows 95 driver. Now realize that the DOS driver also worked with uh, Windows 3.1 and 3.11 for work groups because uh, Windows 3.1 would actually boot into DOS and then you would load into Windows. Um, and that's actually when I initially started using this uh, CD-ROM drive. I hadn't upgraded to uh, Windows 95 yet. The drive is uh, actually 
SCSI oh God, has a SCSI, SCSI 2 connector. I don't know that SCSI Chad will even connect. remember what I that do. is, but the early uh, Mac computers had SCSI connectors on them as well. Comes with the uh, PC MCIA card. I still have the little case that it, the protective case that it came in, and the cable, um, the cable, and uh, the card plugged together. So convenient. So much better than a and USB. <laughs> the cable plugged into the back of the drive. And then the card and would plug universal. into an available uh, PCMCIA card slot on your laptop computer. I uh, don't remember the exact amount that this drive was, but... Uh, the one item that I wanted you to be aware of is uh, for the ultimate in portability, it also would run off of AA batteries. So uh, it took about maybe an hour, hour and a half to run those batteries dead, but uh, six AA batteries would run it. And so you had to. Uh, replace batteries quite often if you're using the drive for very long so mainly it was run on the power adapter the nice thing was with the SCSI interface you could also use this with a desktop computer um, if your desktop computer had a SCSI card built into it anyway my first portable CD-ROM drive that I'm, I'm, I, I another, I'm looking at mom's worth who paid eight hundred dollars for a one-time HP parallel port CD burner. Oh my gosh! So this was like a mad. This was four X, four times. Oh my god! And this was only five hundred. And I remember how slow four X was. My first uh, CD writer would write in four X, and I thought that took four. Ever, <laughs> forever, it was insane. Uh, and then, um, uh, you know, and it would read, you know, much faster. But oh, oh my gosh! I know it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, so that's Ryan Winkler, and, and this is the kind of thing we're talking about. Is that this is a totally <clears throat> useless product, but since it cost more than five hundred dollars, and I looked online, I think it was. I think it came out in 2007, so it's soon going to be 20 years old, uh, but he doesn't want to throw it out. Yeah. So at least he'll get a new Mad Magazine out of it, and uh, Ryan will be among the first to get the new April issue of <laughs> Mad Magazine. Uh, so if you, we need more videos, folks. That was the last video I could find, okay? So we need something for next week, and we need it by Monday because next week we record on Monday. Uh, so piece of crap, any piece of crap you have, make a little, that was a perfect video from Ryan, like two and a half minutes just showing us what it is. And uh, it can be... Uh, I, bu I bought a piece of crap. If you bought something that's horrible, tell us about that. Uh, but not a coffee warmer, because we no. already know it. We, we, yeah. we're already, we already own one of those. Uh, I bought a piece of crap. My uh, gadget warehouse, I invented this. Or just my favorite gadget of all time. Two to three minute video. Send it to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv magically appearing on your screen, mail at gizwiz.tv. Put it on YouTube, and a lot of the, like Ryan's video was, uh, he, he put it up as unlisted, so just people with the link can see it. You can even put it up as private if you want, as long as we have the link. And uh, that way, just gizwiz fans and people who watch the show can watch it. And we need one now! Now! Okay. Everyone and, has uh, those gadgets around the house. Yes, exactly, exactly. And uh, our offer for MAD and now for Newman Picture is for U.S. and Canada because the mailroom looks at labels and says, we're not mailing that. <laughs> you go, wait a second, get this out of here. <laughs> get this out of here, yeah. And I don't want to go to the post office. That's um, okay, so do that, please. And now it is time for... 
The letter. La, 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 la. Now, talk about timing. I emailed you the letter and forgot to print it in my script. So do you happen to have the letter there? <laughs> Let me grab it. Uh, okay, very good. It should have been like the last thing you got. It's the bobblehead. Yes, it is the bobblehead. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, hey, I visited the Bobblehead Hall of Fame today, and look what I found on display. He's somewhat easy to miss because he's about half the size of every other bobblehead here, and he's practically on the floor. But I saw him almost immediately. This is from your loving patron, Nick, in Milwaukee. Wow. So what did he see? Let me bring it up here to show it okay. off. Look at that! An Alfred E. Newman bobblehead. Now, did you ever dream in your life there would be a bobblehead museum? Hall of Fame? <laughs> Hall of, oh, you know what? You, you, you do a lot of merchandising. Is there an OMG Chad bobblehead? There isn't. Uh, oh, there the, isn't? No. Okay. The closest okay. that I ever got to being put in a bobblehead was Leo. Leo has his own bobblehead. Yeah, okay. And the only bobblehead I have is my... I bet you. I bet you don't know who Robert Osborne is, right? I don't. I don't. No, I no. That's okay. That's okay. So, oh, uh, Robert Osborne uh, is the host of Turner Classic Movies. Him and Ben Mankiewicz, and I did a. It's like three years ago. I did a night of hosting. Yeah. With Robert Osborne on Turner Classic Movies, and one of my parting gifts was the Robert Osborne TCM bobblehead. That's a nice I if, gift. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they have that in the bobblehead museum. Man, I didn't... Yeah, who has <laughs> the bobblehead hall of fame? It's hey, the you know, bobblehead I mean, hall of fame. It's, uh, it's famous. Uh, you got him there. I like his pose, too. He has a really good pose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's very funny. We, we, have, we have a showcase at MAD with one of everything ever made uh, that had the Mad logo on it. This looks out of proportion to me. You know, his head looks like they doctored it up or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. anyway. You know, with that uh, hair, he kind of looks a little bit like me. I mean, his hair yeah, looks a lot redder I mean, than normal. Ex exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. maybe it's a knockoff. And, and who, who is our loyal Patreon uh, fan who sent that in? Uh, that was Nick. Nick. From Nick. Okay. Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, it's quite, you know, you would think in the Bobblehead Hall of Fame that this uh, floor that they were on would shake every once in a while to get get all oh, the bobbleheads. <laughs> that's a great idea. Get them bouncing around. Yeah, they should have the showcase on spring. Yeah. And a place to put a quarter in it. Oh, that's perfect. And, and you drop a quarter in, all the bobbleheads shake for, you know, 30 seconds for a quarter. Perfect. A, a okay. new profit center, Bobblehead Hall of Fame. We <laughs> offer you that. Marketed by the Gizwiz. <laughs> that's, that's what that package should say. Yes, it's exactly. It's not marketed by Walmart. It's marketed by the Gizwiz. Gizwiz. All of these products. How do we get on packaging? Uh, that's great. I love that letter. Um, hey, don't forget, uh, you know, Nick was a, a patron. Do you also want to use that in the title, of, in the, in the uh, signatures of your emails? It's easy. Head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz, and there you can support the show. Uh, and we thank all of our patrons who use Patreon. It's really, you know, that's kind of hard to say. Patrons who use Patreon who support the show. Uh, thank you so, so, so much for sh supporting every single episode. You guys make this show happen. Uh, but we could always use a little bit more help. So if you want to support, please do. You are supporting independent content creators like me and Dick. So please. Yeah. We, know, we don't have anybody to answer to. Nope. Just, just you. Just the, just just the fans. You. Just, 
Just you. Just all of just now the, the thousands of people that that watch the show. Uh, and if uh, for some reason you don't want to support through Patreon, you can actually go to gizwiz.tv and support using PayPal. If that is your preferred uh, method, just hit the Patreon button up in uh, the top some- of the uh, the site. Just right there is via PayPal. And we Thank have so we much. have a new slogan from Strengths in the chat room: Don't patronize me, patronize the Gizwiz. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. Slogan of slogan of the week. We're very patronizing. Pa- patron. Yes, we are. There we are. Perfect. Hey, do you want to watch the Gizwiz live? Uh, the what? The, the, yeah, I know it's uh, gonna get a little difficult. Uh, but we are recording this one a day early. Next week we will be recording on the twenty second. Then everything should be back to normal yeah, on I'm Thursday. Looking, it looks like March. So far, March, I have nothing. I, I am just a homebody in March. This is crazy. It's craziness. So you can watch us live every Thursday at around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. And you just do that at gizwiz.tv. It's easy to remember. You can also join our IRC chat room just below the live video. Or you can uh, head on over here to subscribe and catch the show after the fact. You can subscribe on iTunes or YouTube, and the iTunes versions has uh, there's a whole bunch audio, SD, HD, video. So uh, lots of options for you to subscribe. Also, see all of our old episodes at the site gizwiz.tv. Uh, Hang on, Chad. Someone says, "How about can I send you a money order?" I don't think to we can. Who? I don't know. To how me? To, 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 <laughs> how does that work? Yeah. You uh, see, Chad and I don't trust each other enough. If you sent it to me, I'd spend it. If you sent it to him, he'd spend it. So. I don't even know I, how you would uh, receive a money order. Am I too uh, young? Right. I don't, I how don't do know. I, how do you, is it, a, is it like in the mail? I think it's a check kind of thing. Uh. I don't know. I will. Fi- I, I don't know. Send us yeah. bitcoins in the mail, uh, and we'll figure <laughs> out some way to you know put it towards the show. Not sure. Uh, if you want uh, nice written descriptions of each of the product products that we showed off, head on over to gizwiz.biz. Also, while you're there, play. What the heck is it? Oh, I'm so excited. We are getting uh, getting to the end of uh of this this what the heck is it's run right yeah 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 yes and uh Gosh. you're playing for the new mad that i think i put the picture up there. yeah yeah you're is. playing for that issue oh my gosh i'm excited i'm just so excited uh so the what the heck is it game you look at this gadget it that's the whole gadget it's not a part of it and you have to guess what it is you don't always have to be correct but uh i always am uh whenever i uh show off these gadgets. Uh, this is obviously a paintbrush holder. Uh, it's kind of a retro paintbrush holder. You take this with you to your art class and uh, it keeps all your brushes uh, nice and clean inside of uh, the holder and then you just pop it open and you got all your paintbrushes there. Sorry to give it away. Um, wow, okay, you know, I can sorry. never comment because they're so, uh, they're so, I can't even say oh, what they are. so right, you know, it's just true. Uh, but, hey, if uh, you want to guess for yourself, there are 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24, double the Mad Magazine, signed by Dick himself, for cute, silly, fun, or hilarious answers. So, get a guessin', and the email uh, to uh, send that to is on the page uh, right there. Gizwizbiz yep. at AOL.com. Uh, you know what? I'm going to remind you and one more time. And in that time. issue, in that issue oh, yeah. you will get a copy of my oh. new poster on how to avoid the filthiest parts of airports and airplanes. <laughs> I need Some, that. You need that? Yo, that's right. I've got to be on I, airplanes and airports all the time. Oh, you're going to be on, like, a lot of airplanes. Yeah. And in a lot of airports. I need that, man. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Well, one of your one of your answers just might win. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, hey, don't forget. I'm going to remind you one more time. Get those gadget warehouse videos over to Dick. Pull out your phone, find a gadget in your house, and just record it with your phone. As long as you're lit and we can see you and we can see the gadget. Yeah. And, and landscape. We and landscape. Land- yeah. 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 Landscape, not portrait landscape yeah perfect thanks so much for watching this episode of the gizwiz we'll see you next week i'll be here